Welcome to the Shikama Live Show with your host Shikama. Here are 16 Obamacare stats that will blow you away. There's widespread agreement across the country that Obamacare, formerly known as the Affordable Care Act, ACA, isn't perfect. While the Democratic Party is interested in proving it, the Republican Party would rather scrap it. Many on either side of the debate would do well to know more about the program. So here are 16 stats about it, many of which might surprise you. 35%. According to a recent survey by Morning Consult, 35% of people questioned either didn't realize that the ACA and Obamacare are the same thing and weren't sure about it. 45%. The same survey found that 45% of respondents didn't realize that if Obamacare were repealed, the ACA would be repealed too. 60%. The confusion over the name is a big deal. For example, the founder of Morning Consult also noted that while 80% of Republicans strongly disapprove of Obamacare, only 60% strongly disapprove of the ACA. 54%, according to Pew Research Survey, support of the ACA has arisen over the years since it was introduced in 2010 and recently hit an overall high of 54%, with support not surprisingly much higher among Democrats and much lower among Republicans. 57 million. There are about 57 million Americans without health insurance before the ACA took effect. 26 million. As of early 2017, there were just 26 million uninsured Americans, reflecting 33 million people now covered. Let's stick a pin in that. It was found that due to the marketing strategy of the Obama administration, to get people enrolled in health insurance, it was found that a lot of people simply had never enrolled in any health insurance and were capable of affording health insurance for themselves when they had never had it before in their lifetime. 8.6%. Last year, the percentage of Americans without health insurance dropped to a record low of 8.6%, down sharply from 16% in 2010. This is not accounting for people who pay cash for health care. So the 8.6% is not totally true. 80% plus. More than 80% of people who enroll through the exchanges receive a subsidy to help them afford their premiums. 77%. It's estimated that about 77% of enrollees have been able to secure coverage for less than $100 per month thanks to subsidies. 63% plus. When you drill down to the particular provisions of the ACA, most Americans are strongly in favor of most of them. According to the Kaiser Family Foundation research, as of late 2016, for example, 63% or more of Republicans had favorable opinions of the following provisions. Allowing kids to stay on parents' plans until age 26 requiring preventative services to be available at no out-of-pocket cost, creating exchanges where people can shop for plans, offering financial assistance to lower-income people so they can afford coverage, allowing state to expand Medicaid to more people, raising taxes on wealthier Americans to help fund health care, and not allowing insurers to deny coverage due to pre-existing conditions. Fully 75% or more of Democrats favored each of these two. 40% According to actuaries, our health insurance system needs about 40% of enrollees to be in the 18 to 34 age range as they are less likely to need costly health services and their premiums can offset the cost of paying for those with great needs and more expensive care. Younger people have been slow to sign up for coverage, though, and were recently only 27% of enrollees. $872.01 While most Americans get relief for premium costs via subsidies, millions of Americans still don't. For those people who earn about 48000 or more annually, The average silver plan, i.e. a middle-level plan, will cost $365 for a 30-year-old 
411 for a 40 year old, $574 for a 50 year old, and a whopping $872 for a 60 year old. That's clearly still a hefty burden for anyone to bear, with the 60 year old f facing annual health insurance premiums of $10,464. 30 million. According to the Urban Institute, if the ACA is repealed without a replacement, close to 30 million Americans may lose coverage. If that seems high, it's because a total repeal is expected to greatly disrupt the individual coverage market. However, this isn't completely true because a lot of people can afford health insurance without the high cost of Obamacare health care plans. Remember that Obamacare health care plans expanded the cost of health insurance two, three, or even ten times as much as they were before Obamacare came along. $883 billion. The passage of the ACA raised taxes largely on wealthier Americans, and a repeal of the law would represent a massive tax cut for them of about $883 billion. According to Congressional Budget Office, about $274 billion of the break would go to the richest 2% of Americans, while $880 billion would be taken from Medicaid. So this is a tax that Obama leveraged on the wealthier Americans. While he kept saying that the wealthier Americans need to pay more, he'd already levied a tax on the wealthier Americans in, to the tune of $883 billion on top of all of the other taxes that the wealthy pay. $1.2 trillion. Government spending would drop by $1.2 trillion over the next 10 years as that $880 billion annual Medicare funding would be gone. 3,500%. As of this video, the last GOP proposal for an ACA replacement, dubbed Trump Care by some, would maintain the ACA's requirement that insurance offer coverage to people with pre-existing conditions. In the past, many people were refused. But it would permit them to charge those folks higher premiums. The Center for American Progress has estimated, for example, that those with metastatic cancer or asthma would face premium surcharges of 3,500% and 106% respectively, costing them about $140,000 to $4,300 more, respectively. For those who don't understand business, that's the cost of business. This is why it was spread out amongst all the people in the United States to cover people with pre-existing conditions. However, under Obamacare, the pre-existing conditions was actually limited because they actually limited doctors that covered certain ailments. Because those doctors were prevented from being on within the plan, the Obamacare plan, a lot of people with very rare cancers or even not so rare cancers were completely shut out of Obamacare, which was not reported in the news, but I did report it myself here on my Shikama channel, and those people passed away. For people to simply say pre-existing conditions, it costs money and not every pre-existing condition is a broken arm or something like that. A lot of it is very expensive procedures, equipment, specialists that cost a lot of money. Think about this. One of those patients could wipe out the benefits of several hundred patients or several thousand young people who don't have any ailments whatsoever and they're simply paying premiums. So when they say pre-existing conditions, understand that it is a loaded word, a loaded phrase. The bottom line is that healthcare in the United States is extremely complicated with many interconnected and interdependent parts 
and it's not easy to put together a plan that achieves all desired outcomes, such as affordability and good coverage. The ACA is imperfect, but in the years ahead, it's likely to undergo changes, for better or for worse. As of this report, if it is not repealed this year, by the end of this year, the ACA could destroy the federal budget and destroy the lives of everybody who are actually associated with it, who actually have conditions or diseases or procedures that they need to do on a regular basis, who are not young people, who are not 100% healthy. It is a very serious thing. Finally, the $16,000, $122 Social Security bonus most retirees completely overlook. If you're like most Americans, you're a few years or more behind in your retirement savings. But a handful of little-known Social Security secrets could help and choose ensure a boost in your retirement income. For example, one easy trick could pay you as much as $16,122 each year. Go ahead and look that up online. Thank you for watching the Chicago Live Show. Please consider supporting us so we can continue reporting on YouTube.com. Just a dollar from each of you could keep us going on YouTube. That's at patreon.com slash shikama. Thank you. Thank you.